Hey, my name is Carlos Sepulveda, and today I'm going to teach you how to create a navigation that can be turned into a symbol, and that navigation works uh, with different background colors. So let me show you what I mean. So in this case, I have a white background, and I have a regular navigation, but as soon as I go to a different background with the same symbol, now I have a logo and a, a turn into white and I have links that were black now are white. So is the triggers are very simple. I'm going to explain uh, what's the trick behind. It's super simple to, to achieve. It just requires um, a loading page. Uh, a, sorry. Uh, the trigger is going to be page a page trigger. And when the page loads, that's where the magic happens. It's super simple. Um, so I just created an animation, which is nav bar goes white. And if I open this now, you can see that I'm just affecting two elements. The first element that I'm affecting is just one, one image of the logo that I have, that is the, uh, the black logo. And then I have the other trigger, which is going to affect the, the links by itself. So I have uh, the nav links that were black now are white. And the same happened, but in the opposite way for the white background. So let me show you uh, from scratch how this was done. So you can uh, follow along with me and we can just create this, okay? Okay, now it's starting from scratch. Let's see how this was done. So I'm going to create a nav bar and this nav bar, let me name this nav bar, nav bar container. Nav bar brand, nav bar menu, nav bar menu. Button, well, we don't need the menu button, but anyways nav bar link okay there you go okay so i have <clears throat> the nav bar and now i need two images one of the images is going to be the black logo and the other one is going to be the white logo so i'm going to put a image element here and this is going to be nav bar brand image. I'm going to name this black. So I'm going to choose one of the two logos that I have here. So I am going to place the black logo. And um, then with this, I'm going to just to make the the container as a flex element. Uh, you can use a uh, block for replace to replace the, the original container if you want to, but just for this tutorial, I'm going to use the, the default container. Uh, let me expand the container to 100%. And let's make the, the link of the nav bar, the, the right margin to be auto. Um, now I have everything with class naming and the final touch that I need is just another image so i'm going to duplicate this image now bar brand image white so i'm going to replace this one uh -huh. with the white version so as you can see right now uh because i have a gray background i can see the the white logo but if i use a transparent uh background for it, I'm going to just lose the the contrast and I'm going to just basically uh, uh, make disappear the logo. But I'm going to leave it like that so you can just see what I'm talking about. So right now I can uh, make the nav bar as a symbol. So nav bar is going to be this one. And for the body, uh, this is going to be white background. And I'm going to, um, okay, let's 
clean up this just to build that from scratch. And for the white background, I'm going to create a page trigger. Then when the page loads, when it's starting to load, I want to add an animation which is going to make um, black nav bar. The black nav bar is going to make disappear the the white logo and nothing else. So we can just make this to affect the the class. Let's save that. And as soon as oh, I just forgot to put this as an initial state. Okay, let's save that. So as soon as I trigger the the preview uh, button, you can see that the black logo remains there and I, I don't have anything else. Now I'm going to go to another page which, which is going to be the black page. So I'm going to paste the symbol and now I'm going to turn the body into a different color. So dark body, okay. On the dark body side, um, I'm going to create another trigger, which is going to be page load. Start from, from it. Okay, I'm going to make this uh, white nav bar. And the white nav bar is going to, let's save that. The white nav bar, it's going to make the um, black logo to disappear and I'm going to affect the class because I have just one unique class and then I'm going to make the the nav link text color to go to white and also I'm going to affect the class so in that case it affects everything and all of this is going to be set as an initial state when the page loads so I know that the, the, the nav bar looks a little messy with the two logos. You can either apply a mask for to the logo and actually let me do that really quickly so you, you can see what I mean with this. So let's see, this is around 100 pixels. So let's put that, um, the max width for it is around that. And it's going to be a flex and I'm going to mask this. So in this case, well, I just uh, hide the logo like that with that simple mask. And let me show you by changing the the, um, the background color of the nav. So right now I can see that the logo turned to, into white with the links. And if I go to the white page, so it's the opposite. So I really hope that you find this tutorial useful. It, well, learning this helped me a lot in the past when I was learning Webflow uh, from the very basics. And well, that's what I'm trying to do with this, uh, this Webflow, uh, this YouTube channel. And I, I want to focus on making tutorials for easy tricks that are uh, probably going to be mostly based on Webflow without trying not to include custom code. So that's it. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next video.